going to be a while before there, there are two guys like uh, Ward and Gotti who come together on, a, on a, the same collision course and fight each other three times with that kind of intensity, I think. We haven't heard much about, though, in recent years about Gaddy Ward. Why is that? Man, why is that? That people, people have short attention spans. And that's why the book was important, to bring these guys back into the forefront for people and remind them of these two great fighters who taught, fought in, what was it, 2002? Yeah. 2001 yeah. and 2002, 2002 were the three fights. Yeah. yeah, there you and go. And we got three really nice endorsements from Virgil Hunter, Joe Cortez, and Harold Letterman at HBO Sports. They all three really liked the book. I mean, they loved the book, and that really made us feel good because that's how we feel about the book, too. Forward by Boom Boom Mancini, yeah. which was a thrill for us, mm -hmm. and uh, photographs by one of, the, one of the great photographers in boxing history, Ed Mulholland. And that's the, his cover right here on the book. Great stuff. It's really, really hard work. I, I've written three or four of them now, and it, it's always really a pain in the butt in a lot of ways. <laughs> but um, this was such a labor of love just because you fall in love with these two guys as you're researching them, and I think people are going to fall in love with them when they're reading this book, because they're both such good guys, and they're just, uh, just true warriors. And uh, the, the, when, when they came together, it was such a singular, spectacular event three times in a row um, that uh, it, it was just so much fun to research, so much fun to write, that um, it, it wasn't difficult for me. It, it went fast. No, and, and, and it, the, th the interesting thing, too, is it wasn't supposed to be. When they fought the first time, it was supposed to be just a cakewalk for Gotti, yeah. remember? And he was supposed yeah. to win easy, but Ward won, and, 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 it, it, this, and that's very true about the writing. This was love. This was passion. This was just like fighting. That's yeah. what it reminded me of, and, and we both have a passion for writing, and that was why you know, I had heard so many things about collaborating. Oh, it can be difficult, but not with this man on my left. I mean, it was great, and we both were on the same page, and... We just did the same thing. We had that same passion that, that Ward and Gotti, that, that we, we loved what we were doing, and it wrote itself, basically. I, I, it is hard work, but then again, it wasn't. It just and took off. And when we were done, I think we both had withdrawal pains, the way fighters do when their yes. career is over. You know, it's tough it's to like, walk now away. What? You want to go back and you want to write another chapter when you're done. You want to write two more chapters. So what would be written now with uh, Arturo Gotti not with us? What would Mickey Ward say? about his demise and what kind of life they lived together in the squared circle. Mickey Ward lost a brother when yeah. Arturo Gotti died. Yeah, he did. If, if Dickie Eklund, Mickey Ward's real life brother, passed away, um, I, I don't think it would break his heart any more than Arturo Gotti's death did. And the sensational thing about this book and, and about this story is that Arturo Gotti's uh, demise is still such a mystery. I still can't make up my mind about what happened to him with all the research that we've done. And I think you're in the same boat. There just mm -hmm. isn't enough evidence either way to decide what happened to Arturo Gotti. And, and Mickey's that way too. I, um, how could Arturo Gotti have committed suicide after what we all saw him do in the ring? This is a guy who didn't quit on anything. 